Welcome to Pyramids of the Middle Kingdom. During the Middle Kingdom era, the powerful rulers of the 12th dynasty resumed the tradition of elaborate pyramidal tombs. For example, Amenemhat I built a funerary complex in Lisht, and Senusret II selected the Elahun site in the Fayum. Amenemhat II and Sesestris III, however, cast their favor towards Dashur. Amenemhat III built a pyramid there as well before moving to Hawara in the Fayum. <coughs> the plundering of tombs in troubled times prompted the architects of the Middle Kingdom to devise increasingly complicated means of security during construction. As such, while the architectural plans of the Hawara Pyramid were simpler than the one at Dashur, the means used to protect it from looters were much more elaborate. Beyond the use of blind passages and concealed trap doors, the architects relied on a system of stone slabs, which were slid into place at the end of construction. These massive stone slabs were meant to permanently block the passageways leading to the funerary chambers. The kings of the 13th dynasty began building their pyramids at Mazguna, south of Dashur, then moved on to Fayum and Abydos. The kings of the 17th dynasty, however, satisfied themselves with crowning their cave tombs with small pyramids of raw brick. The kings of the 18th dynasty gave up the shape of the pyramid as a royal tomb entirely. They chose a mountain with a pyramidal shape in the Valley of Kings and dug their graves there. It was not until the Nubian pharaohs of the 25th dynasty that kings were once again buried under pyramidal tombs. In fact, today, the area of ancient Nubia, modern Sudan, contains a record number of 220 known pyramids to Egypt's 138. Despite their slow decline in use and quality, pyramids continued to fascinate all and sundry up to the Roman era. They remain to this day a symbol of the religious dedication of the pharaohs and the grandeur of ancient Egypt. Mm -hmm. 